Hey guys, Lex here, and today I've got something different. Today is a watch review. So I've been wanting to do watch reviews for a while from the watches that I own in my collection just to talk about them and why I like them and what I think is good and maybe not so good about them. So today I'm going to start off with a watch that's pretty well known. This is the Casio F91. Now, this watch is pretty damn popular, mainly because when most people think of a digital watch, this is the one they think of. So, I believe this came out in 1991. Oh, pardon me. And it's got a bit of controversy, contra controversy because it's the actual same watch that our terrorists use, Al-Qaeda, to arm their bombs with. So, the main reason for that is it has a 24-hour countdown timer. Plus, it's incredibly accurate and cheap. So, it's got a bit of um, stick for that. There's a few articles on that. You can Google it. And it's also, you know, um, quite popular with hipsters. I hate to use that label, but, um, yeah, I wasn't really too sure what to think of it. I normally, myself, wear G-Shocks. Um, right now, I'm wearing a GW7900B. Um, it's a really nice, high-tech piece of kit. And um, I thought to myself, you know, what? Why? what is the big deal about this watch? So I saw it on Amazon, $6.99. I've got Prime. So I figured, hell, next day delivery, might as well try it out. So... I really wasn't sure what to think. I was like, did I just waste six and nine? What is the big deal? I always Google around. I remember in a watch forum, I like to Google and read. And I always see these lists. These top 10 iconic watches, top 25, top 30. And you've got your Rolex Explorer, your your day date, um, your date just. Um, you've got, you know, Omega. You've got your original Seikos and stuff, Grand Seiko, stuff like that. Um, Patek and all that. And every single one of those lists, this watch was there. Every single one, this watch popped up. F91, F91, F91. I kept wondering, what the hell is the big fucking deal about this watch? What has it got that's so damn special? I mean, the original G-Shock came out in 1983, years before this thing. Why the hell is this so special? So when I arrived, I have to admit, I really didn't expect it, but this really grew on me. So I'm going to just quickly put this on just to show you on the wrist. And it has it has a real charm to it. From going from G-Shocks to this, it was a real um, difference. I really, you can instantly tell when I opened it, the quality is, is much um, different. It's much cheaper. I mean, the band feels cheap. The clips, everything feels thinner and not as luxurious, you know. Um, that's why it costs six ninety nine. I mean, you, even if you look here, comparing this here, we're going to compare this with the seventy nine hundred just to show. I mean, look how slick this is on my watch. It's a nice, you know, basic. You know, you could even wear this with a suit because it is just it doesn't stick out. It's just really flat and slick, and I absolutely loved it. And I put it on with it, even the oh, even the 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 band part, the clip there says Casio. It just even though it was cheaper, it didn't feel as luxurious. I just absolutely loved it. It just the simplicity. Even look at the the screen compared to the uh, the seventy nine hundred. The screen, if you look at letters, are quite thick and sort of military looking. This one, it's just sort of spaced out and basic. Um, and I just absolutely loved it. It didn't have any luxury parts. It wasn't super. It didn't feel like a, a you know a luxury sort of watch. It just it was simple as hell, and I absolutely love it. It just has a real simplicity to it that a real charm that no other watch uh, digital watch can really match and I can instantly see why this is so popular I, I, words can't really describe it too well it just seeing it the feel of it holding it seven year battery most of the time it lasts for 10 years sometimes um, longer it says it's only water resistant but I know people have taken it swimming and they've been fine with it and that's why I actually like it. The fact that it's so cheap and it does the job so damn well. Um, Feature-wise, this thing, I'm just going to take it off here. It's a bit difficult again. This is where you can see the straps are a lot shorter than G-Shocks as well. So much, I mean, it literally is weightless. I mean, the thing is just absolutely weightless. Um, but just look how thin it is in comparison to my finger. You know, it's just, wow. So... This one has all your style features. It has, it displays the day, it displays the time. You can switch between 24 hour and 12 hour. Boom. You can switch between your different modes. Stopwatch, etc. set the time. 
by holding down the button and such. And you've also got your light. Now a lot of people complain about the light saying it's not very good. The light's actually just enough and no more. I'm going to try and see if I can show you the light in the dark here. Let me see this will be difficult but let's try it. Yeah see how that, see how if you look carefully it lights up the entire screen. So you think oh that's terrible you can only see one half of it. Actually if you're waking up in pitch dark which I have done waving this. Um, you can actually, oh, I'll try to do this backwards with the camera. Let's see, oh, I'll try to cover it so you can, yeah, see how, see that there? You can actually see the whole screen. It does light up on that side, but you can see every single digit on the screen, you know, and really, really dark um, lighting. So it does the job for six ninety nine. The fact that I've got a watch that will work for 10 years just blows me away. I mean, it, like I'm saying, the strap feels cheaper. It doesn't feel as nice, but it has a real charm to it. I can I can see why it's so popular. Um, it just has that 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 charm to it, you know. Um, the blue, just everything about it. The Casio logo there, the the blue um, border around there. Everything about it is just so uh, modern. It's funny because a lot of people think go oh that's a real 80s looking wristwatch but it actually came out in the 90s so it just everything about it is just as Casio as it gets it's just everything is where it should be you know the blue border the, the spacing of the letters the the WR part there, the other Casio logo everything is just where it should be you know and it even looks like you saw on my wrist I'm not going to put it on again because the painting got off but it even looks like a pretty nice watch on the wrist you know, if you wore this, let's say you work in an office and you, you wanted to wear a digital watch and you didn't want to go for one of the um, sort of silver plated metal ones, which do look quite nice, but let's say you wanted to go for this, you know, it wouldn't be too bad because it's it's just so thin and, and subtle. And yeah, I'm just really impressed with this. I really didn't think that I would, would see anything in this. I didn't think... I thought it was overhyped. I thought, why the hell is this such a big deal? Why is it in all these articles as iconic this? And why is this getting so much more attention than, say, the original G-Shock? Which actually was, you know, it was it was the first durable, tough watch ever made. So I thought, why is that not getting all the attention compared to this? And for the price alone, for six ninety nine, you know, for the price of two pints of beer, I've got this watch that will last about roughly 10 years. You know, and I know it's going to last 10 years because the company Casio always put out top quality. They use good quality batteries. The materials, the the the, wire, the sort of components they use are always good quality. Um, much better quality on the G-Shock. I mean, it's much heavier. It's much more robust. You can, I mean, just taking a look, you can see the, the difference in quality, um, you know, between these two watches. But I will be reviewing this one as well. So I rambled on a bit for this. It is my first watch review. Um, so yeah, I'm pretty damn impressed with it. I like it. It's it's a nice change, the simplicity. Um, it's a nice change to go from this thing that thinks it's a damn computer that tells you everything under the sun, um, you know, moon rays and stuff like that, to just a simple watch. The sort of watch you need to adjust for daylight savings. You know, it will occasionally lose a few seconds every couple of months or so. It just works. I absolutely love it. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this review. Um, I wasn't sure what one to start with, but because of the sort of history behind this watch, um, I thought I would start with this one. Because I really, it did really change my mind. I mean, I really, at some one point, before I got one for myself, thought, why the fuck is this such a big deal? Why is everybody raving on about this watch? Why is it so popular? And I got my own one, and I just, I just loved it. It just worked. Simple. It does its job. I absolutely love it. So yeah, thanks for watching. Any questions you have about this watch, feel free to leave them in the comments or send me a YouTube message. Um, what was I about to say there? Oh yeah, if you don't have a Google Plus account, you can contact me on Facebook. And yeah, thank you for watching this review, guys.